part four. Um, okay, we're almost done here. Uh, sorry it's taking so long, but anyway, as you can see, uh, we got it all wired up now. Um, let me just turn it upside down here. So I can, as you can see, when I'm moving it around, yeah, it's going all uh, flippity flip flop on the. Obviously now it's going to be the stuff down. Okay. Ah. Uh, right. Okay. Um. It's because I didn't know collide the thingy. The oscilloscope. So it's going to go a bit spazzy. Anyway. Um. There you have it. You can see when I'm shaking it up and down, we get a nice little spike corresponding to how well it works. And you can also see, um, it did it right before, I don't know if it, yeah, there we go. Um, when it hits, when it resets and it's not at the zero uh, line, it, um, it makes a line across because it's basically being told to go back to zero point very, very fast, but it makes a line anyway. Um, when I first made this, I wanted to, um, I tried to code in, in the expression gate that when the reset was one, then um, it would actually go outside the screen and then go around the screen um, so that x uh, was uh, well higher than 1 anyway and um, y was uh, either higher or lower than 1 so that it would go around the screen so we wouldn't get that annoying line that basically screws the whole thing up like that Anyway, I don't know what you want to use this for. Um, it's just as a response to somebody asking about a seismic chip in the, I think it was the ideas and suggestions spread. Um, I know this is not a chip, but I, well, it inspired it. So anyway, and, then, and I know that was supposed to be uh, for the screen shake, but I don't know. Anyway, I guess the most immediate use you can use this for would be to, for example, test the suspension on a vehicle. Um, I haven't actually tried that, but it should work. It should give a nice little... Um, the better your suspension, the less the spike should be when you're uh, running over someone or something. Um, I'll leave that up to you guys to figure out what you're going to use it for, and I can see time is probably running out here again. So, um, thanks for watching, and happy wiring. See you next time.